guys welcome back doing the second place mat and coaster pour in my little series uh, the first one I can show you that now it's dry that's it there that was the golden burgundy red sort of so all the reds and gold and it's looking really pretty sit there all dry dried beautifully and the little matching coaster as well it's a little bit more busy oops why can't I pick up any shine oh there we go <laughs> yep so that's those two and we're gonna go with greens today just put these two back under the table when they're nice and safe and we're going with greens, as I said. Uh, they are all Jo Sonia's. Uh, that one looks a little thick. Um, so we've got the green, we've got black. I mix these two parts pouring medium to one part paint. It's leaving a little mound. This is a big mound. I'm going to have to thin that out. Just going to put a little blob of polycrylic in it don't add water guys if you want to thin your paints just add more gloss varnish whatever gloss varnish you're using whether it's just Sonia's or Minwax polycrylic or um, I don't know whatever you're using and then we've got I'll put them back here and then we've got the um, lighter green so the, the first green I showed you is just uh, phthalo, phthalo green. And then I should just do it this way, shouldn't I? And then there's the black, carbon black. This guy here is brilliant green. And then my teal I made with 50-50 phthalo blue and phthalo green to get that sort of bluey green shade, like an oceany colour. And then we have gold. So with this series, I've got colours and then black and gold in all of them. So that's the gold. It's called rich gold. And then my cell activator is two parts flow troll to one part sorry three parts this one's three three parts flow troll to one part amsterdam titanium white or titanic white as i like to call it sometimes oh my gosh um right <clears throat> gloves on oh i'll show you my little my little blower i went and got the box from the other room um, now you probably won't be able to get this in all countries because this is from Kmart in Australia. But basically it's just a rotating hairbrush that blows hot air. So when it came, when I went and picked it up, I thought I could just take that top off um, and then I would just have, you know, the nozzle underneath. But no, it had this long kind of pole in the middle and then you slide the brushes on top so i had to actually cut it off i got the wire cutters and actually cut that plastic thing off and then i just put my um, medicine cup on the top and taped it just so that i've got a smaller hole there so that's what i've used i'm sure you'll be able to get a similar type thing from um, amazon or wish or ebay or whatever and that's that's just what I've, i'm using okay make sure it's got a cold setting on it though uh, because you don't want to blow hot air, you'll, you'll, um, you know, your paint will get a skin on it rather than move. So make sure if you're buying it, you're getting a cool setting. Right, let's get this show on the road. British Paints, Lachine Wall Interior in White for my pillow. And I'm just going to pour it out of here. This nozzly thing is really handy. Just get it from the hardware store where I bought the paint. In Australia, it's Bunnings, but you know, you guys will have your own paint store wherever you are, whatever country you're in. And I'm just going to spread this a little bit. I 
found that it's better if I kind of spread it a little bit first. Try and get it even. This is just on my cake rotating stand. People are still asking me, where do you get your cakes? Where do you get your paint spinner? It's just a turntable, it's just a cake stand, it's nothing special. Um, yeah, I got it from eBay. I love eBay. I shop on eBay every day. <laughs> and then a little pillow in the middle for my paint. Pillow in the middle. Right, oh, let's get started. Still feels a bit thick, this one, the green. I just put my, um, I've got a big tin of polycrylic, but I just put it into this. I need to fill it up again. It's just so much easier than opening a can each time and trying to pour a little bit out. It's, you know, it's not easy, so I, I use that. Okay, Hilary, here we go. Let's pour some green out first. And I want to do, you know, light, dark, light, dark, as usual. There's no point putting two very similar colours next to each other. Paint's a bit frothy. I've just made them up this morning. Some black. So each paint's a little bit different in consistency. This one, this green, I didn't have to add any um, extra polycrylic to it. It's a nice consistency, but the darker green I did have to. So, yeah, they're each a little bit different. And the metallics, I always have to add more polycrylic to them. So now we've got the dark again on top of the light. And then I just want to put a little bit of a drizzle of that one over the top just so that I'm getting a little bit of a different look there. And my gold, have a little bit of a drizzle of that one too. I don't want the big block of gold. And then my CA, just trying three to one this time, see if it blows better. I want quite a lot. I mean, this is a big uh, place map. This is a 40 centimetre or 16 inch, so I need quite a lot. Now, I'm going to blow very, very carefully. <laughs> very slowly. I don't want to disrupt my lacing. As soon as that starts happening, then I stop. Don't get too close. Don't want to destroy the lacing before I've even got it. been practicing on not blowing too hard. Very, very gently. Pretty much what I want. Sometimes when I blow, I blow so hard, I just get these big strips of colour and then I'm upset with myself because I've blown it too hard. I just want the white to cover the other colours and then very slowly the lacing will pop through. And as soon as you see that, stop. Don't just blow the bejesus out of it because then you won't get this lacing. You'll just get all these big blocks of colour. I'm just going to see if I can blow some of these stripies out. I don't want to touch the lacing, but I'm just going to blow the, the lacing out.
Oh, the nice thing is striping. Okay, it's starting to thicken. I can see the top of the paint there starting to thicken, so I'm just going to leave it. But that is, oh my gosh, that is pretty much textbook what, I, what I'm wanting. Okay, um, let's, let's do this. I'm actually not going to move the metal because it's pretty good. That extra little pillow I put on top, um, nothing's sticking there. So I'm just going to go for this. And then I might move the paint down that way because some of this will go. Just give that a, a quick spin. Wow, look at it, look at it, look at it. So pretty. I mean, I didn't have to do this, I guess, up here because that kind of breaks my design but i'll flick that off but can you see what i've been trying to do i've got a blossom there a bloom well a petal a petal a petal a petal a petal and there's kind of two there but this is what i've been practicing really hard is trying to get my blow to be really gentle just skimming the top because i've i've done so many where um let me show you oh this one here <coughs> See that one? See how there's no lacing over here? Because I just blew that paint too deep and too fast. So there's actually no lacing there. So this is what I've been practicing. Just blowing really gently. So if you're using it, well, try to get one of these. This is only a thousand watts. My hair dryer is two thousand watts. It's just too strong. It really is. Right, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go the other way now. Opposite way anti-clockwise and hopefully this is going to be really pretty <laughs> look at my finger <laughs> getting little bits of paint stuck on it I'm just going to touch that underneath on my little uh, rotating cake rack thingy um, now I, I want to get rid of these these little blobby bits here. Let me see if I can just. No, I don't want to tilt because my middle's still moving. I don't know why my middle's still moving, but anyway. Maybe I've still got too much paint there. This mix is probably a little bit thinner. Well, actually, it's the CA. My CA is a little bit thinner. So you can tell by. See, my center isn't. hasn't got like tiny little lacings in it um sometimes your center's got really small lacing in it like that because it hasn't spun out um maybe it's a little bit thicker maybe your paints are a little bit thicker this one i think everything's a little bit thinner today and uh, they've just you know they've spread more i would like this little bit extra here just to go mm, but i don't want to lose that Wow, it's so pretty. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. And the other thing, um, because I kind of drizzled my gold like that, I've got little bits of gold here and there. I haven't got a big block of gold in the middle. So that's something new that I've been working on too. Let's just see if I can get a little bit more of that to go. And then I should be just be happy with it, shouldn't I? Oh, those middle cells are getting a bit big now. Oh, lacing. They're not cells. They're lacings. Let's stop this. Okay, that's gone. Look, it's gone. I can deal with that little bit of gold there. This middle is starting to get a little bit big, though, those lacings. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there and call that done. What do you think? <clears throat> get that underneath I mean ideally you know I could get that little bit off there as well but I don't think I should push my luck it's a tiny little section and I'm just worried that if I spin it again my middle is going to get too oh I just put my finger on the side the middle is going to get too big This green paint here and just put that there. I stuck my finger in the side. 
there's not much of an overhang that's all there is so from where the, the little tray is underneath that's all there is okay so I'll take you down for a close-up and then I'll move this out of the way and then I'm going to get my my little spinner I'm just going to put my coaster on that because I don't want to put a coaster on on this because it's gonna it's gonna just have too much paint and it's too much of a mess so I'm just going to put the coaster on that I don't know what set the dogs off oh, my daughter must have got up oh dear oh dear dogs are all worried sometimes okay um that's really good I'm, I'm happy with that now sometimes my um lacing can be a little bit small i'm just going to turn the light off sometimes my lacing can be a little bit small but i think it's looking pretty good on this one oh, it looks more blue through my screen that's more turquoise it certainly is more teal there that's for sure <clears throat> it does look a lot more blue through my screen but hmm anyway i'll put i'll put up a photo so that you can see the true color look at that it's like like peacock feathers aren't they so we got the the lacing's quite fine because it's a thinner mix it's still quite pronounced but it definitely is um, a more delicate lacing if you could see the true color oh, it looks so blue <clears throat> it's not it's teal it's green anyway i'll put a photo up so you can see it um right let's move this out of the way and uh, we'll get onto the coaster back in a sec little coasters before but the one I did do I put too much paint on it okay here we go I'm going to put the lids on that way I can just use the nozzle because I as I said, I always use too much paint on these little guys, and you really don't need very much at all. Especially with the CA, tiny bit. I learnt that the hard way. I put a lot on, and my whole coaster was just white. Whoops, got my nozzle. So, what colours shall we do next? you've got some ideas for color schemes just remember a color probably some black in there for a bit of a punch and then a metallic as well and I'll all have the white CA and I'm just gonna put a tiny little tiny little blob of green because that's what I did on the other one and they always this, they seem to be different it's just because it's small you know they just seem to be different a little bit of gold not too much everything's just tiny tiny here um, I'm gonna use my little blower because the big ones just too strong oh I forgot I forgot I forgot I should when I use when I'm doing these little ones I should use the um, three to one I think the um, two to one's too thick to go to spread over these properly. about it the other day I thought when I'm doing the little ones I need to use my, <clears throat> my three to one but we'll see we'll see what happens 
because it, the white's thicker and because it's so little, end up with a lot of white in the middle. Um, you know, on a bigger one, it's fine because it's, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of white in the middle because it's such a big piece. But hopefully the white will get eaten up a little bit by that lacing. Look how little it is. It's so cute. Yes, you are. You're just so cute. Yes, you are. All right, now I'm just being silly. <clears throat> Got my son and his fiance popping over. They're going to be here in ten minutes. Uh, Saturday, Saturday morning today. They're just coming over for morning tea. Um, my son's fiance Tash is vegan, so I've made a, um, a vegan spinach cob dip. You know the good old fashioned spinach cob dip. You put it in the big bread roll, and you've got your filling, and you heat it up, and then you break bits off, and you dip in there. Well, I found out a way to do it vegan, and actually the non-vegan people. They prefer it, so yay. So making that, it's in the oven. Let's spin it. So if you don't have a big box like this, if you're just spinning tiles, see how it just goes there? Uh, if, you know, you don't have to have a big box like this that I'm using, the puppy pool. There's something in there. There's a blob in there. The paint's getting stuck on it. Hopefully it'll be all right because I don't want to redo this one. I like this one. I like it. Maybe I can. Oh no, I'm not even going to pick it out. I'm just going to have to hope that when I do the resin or varnish or something, it'll just cover that because it's just there. And then as I spin, it's kind of getting stuck. But just get a little bit more of that white off. don't mind it there actually it's got a little glistening bit of gold over the top of it which will look really pretty when it's dry it's getting wonky see where the blob is oh, I've ruined so many pieces because of blobby bits in my in my paint All right, I'm gonna leave that what is that No, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it. It'll be fine when it's dry. I'm just being picky, picky, picky. Picky pants. Uh, now, how am I going to get that up? I need to get my little tool and just lift it up so I can get under there. Try not to touch the sides. Oops, I'm taking the tape with me. I don't know you guys. Can you see that blob there? Maybe I'm the only one that can see it. Let's leave it for now. I really love that. Um, and yeah, as I said, when I put the resin or varnish over it, it'll it'll smooth it out, and you won't see the the blob. I'm probably the only one that can notice it. Maybe. All right. Look at that. <gasps> it's so pretty. Over. Yeah, it's it's all about the blow, about the blow. It's all about the blow, about the blow. <laughs> I'm really stupid today. <laughs>